Podcasting is one of the smartest ways to create content, and since the launch of our video podcast, Think Marketing, we've been testing out different ways to make these podcasts happen, and one of those ways is to record and capture interviews on the road at conferences and conventions in our industry. So, I wanna break down our simple travel podcast setup for podcasting on the go, so let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Zakori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do YouTube strategy videos as well as equipment setups just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Recently, we took a trip to San Diego for Social Media Marketing World. This is a conference for social networking and online video. And Sean had the intention to link up with some experts in our field and get them on either our podcast, Think Marketing, but as well as video influencers. And so I wanna break down the gear we use to capture these podcasts, but here's an example of how it sounded like. The first one we're talking about is actually know your demographics. What does that mean? Okay, it means who are you trying to speak to? Because- Sounded pretty good, right? I'll be sure to put the links to all this gear that I mentioned and alternatives as well, uh, so you could save money in the description below. But some things we wanted to make sure of when putting together this setup was portability, reliability, and just overall fail-proof way to get great sounding audio. And being at a convention center, we needed a setup that wouldn't capture all the extra noise going on in the showroom floor. And so that leads us to the mics that we used. So we use the Shure SM58. These are $100 mics. And if you buy the $109 version, they come with a really long XLR cable, which is what we did. But we love them because they're super light, they're super durable. And these are dynamic mics, meaning they capture noise or sound that's just coming right in front of the mic. And so anything around uh, kind of gets uh, not captured. But that's just a power tip for podcasting when you're looking for a mic, go dynamic. Now the opposite would be condenser mics, which are like shotgun mics, but those aren't uh, ideal for podcasting. And so we didn't wanna compromise the audio quality just because we were on the road. And so these mics were great. We also added a windscreen or a muff, and these are pretty cheap. Again, we'll put links to everything in the description below. But these mics are pretty simple. You simply plug and play them into a recorder and you're good to go. Now the next piece of gear is our recorder and we use a Zoom H6 recorder to capture audio. This is around $330 and we, we capture audio on the Zoom, record it on the Zoom and then we sync it in post. I actually have a tutorial on how we do that in Premiere Pro with a click of a button. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. But you don't need a Zoom H6 because that could be pretty pricey. Uh, if you're never gonna, if you don't plan on really having more than two people, then you can get the alternative, which is a Zoom H5. That's around $280. And that has two XLR inputs, but still has the analog dials. And just a note, you can actually add uh, an additional piece uh, that costs $80 to expand the H5 uh, into four pieces. But just to note, you can totally buy the H5 and then build it out to have extra XLR inputs. Uh, when you add the capsule, uh, it's called the Zoom EXH6. It's about $80 but if you don't need that up front, by all means go with the H5. But we love using Zooms because they, uh, especially these kinds, because you can control them on the fly. They have these those analog dials. It records in WAV files, which are really high quality audio files. And it also does multi-track. So in an interview situation, for every many mics are plugged in is how many files I'm getting. So if I need to adjust somebody's audio and not affect somebody else's, I can do that. Now, as far as accessories go, you just want a basic 32 gigabyte uh, SD card, uh, which is plenty for the audio files. And you don't wanna go bigger than that. We found that it actually bogs down the startup of a Zoom when you have a really big uh, SD card. Definitely need some AA batteries to uh, power up the Zoom. Uh, what is cool is you can plug it into the wall, but if you don't have access to the wall, you definitely want fresh batteries, especially this being a travel setup, being able to record on the fly anywhere you need to get those AA batteries. And then, like I mentioned before, just the windscreen, which you can get a five pack for 10 bucks. And these are just smart to have to control your plosives. In just a second, I got tips on how to get the best sound out of this setup. But if you're getting value in this video, hit the like button for me. Thank you so much. And question for you is, what mic are you using to create content right now? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you're wondering about the video podcast side of things, like the camera and the lens we use for the Think Marketing Show, I'll put a link to that video in the YouTube card, as well as in the description below. Now I wanna share some quick tips on how to get the best audio out of this setup, or if you're using a dynamic mic, or any mic per se. Uh, and the first tip is to keep a consistent distance from the mic 
and your mouth. And a lot of times when you're doing an interview based off of the tone or the attitude or the, uh, the vibe, a lot of people can, you know, move a lot. And if you're sitting side by side with somebody, you know, uh, and, and you're not talking into the mic, it's gonna change the audio a lot. And so in post, you can fix that a little bit by levelating your audio, but it's just best to just keep a, a consistent distance from the mouth. And second is to lock in your levels and do a solid test. Um, a lot of times I've seen people do like a fake audio test, like testing one, two, testing one, two. No, like talk at the volume. Hey, welcome to the Think Marketing Show. You know, you, you wanna talk at the volume you're gonna talk at and then dial in your settings before you actually hit record. And then tip number three is after you've done everything you could possibly do to get the best sounding audio up front, it's editing your audio in post. This setup out of the recorder sounds really, really good, but because of uh, the nature of an interview can go up or down as far as inflections go, and maybe the interviewer did move their mic a little bit off their face, we suggest uh, leveling your audio, so making sure that throughout the entire duration of your interview or your podcast that it is at the same volume. Uh, and you can also do this by adding a compression as well. Uh, we uh, like using the multi-band compressor effect on Adobe Premiere Pro. But by all means, whatever audio editing software you use, just make sure you tweak your audio a bit so the experience from the listener is as best as possible. Now, if you wanna check out the video version of this setup, like what we use for the camera and the lenses and why we use it, uh, you can check out that video by clicking or tapping the screen. Or if you wanna check out our video podcasting series and just learn about all the gear that you could potentially invest in, check out that as well. But I can't wait to see you in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.